10 of the cross, in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, our Almighty Father, we thank you for the gift of life, the food we ate, for the water we drink, and for the air we breathe. Lord, as we gathered here in our Google Meet as part of our new normal, please guide us and help us to understand our lesson well. Please help us to be patient and optimistic as we go through to our academic career. Please guide us every day. Bless our teacher, our parents, and every one of us. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> So good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. I am Lizelle Jane, and I am tasked to discuss the key concept of ideal gas equation. Next slide, please. Next slide, please, Jane. So, at the end of 20 minutes discussion, the class are expected to know what is ideal gas equation all about, identify the application of ideal gas equation in real life situation, and calculate ideal gas equation. Next slide, please. <clears throat> Next slide, Jane. So, what is ideal gas equation? Ideal gas is ideal gas law is derived from empirical relationship among the pressure, the volume, the temperature, and the number of moles of gas. So, when we say empirical, it is based on observation or experience. So, ideal gas is one that holds precisely for all pressure and temperature. This is an ideal model and works. And work best at very low pressure and high temperature when the gas molecules are far apart and in rapid uh, motion. So we have here this picture is our one um, are just an example of uh, the the ideal gas equation. So we have here the balloon and then uh, the man who pump his flat tire and then um, the best example for this is our breathing. So to breathe, you rely on ideal gas equation. Contraction of the dome-shaped diaphragm muscles increases the volume V of the thoracic cavity, which encloses the lungs. Decreasing its pressure P, the lowered pressure causes the lungs to expand and fill with air. <clears throat> so that is inhalation. The temperature T is kept constant. When you exhale, the diaphragm relaxes, allowing the lungs to contract and expel. Expel the air. So next slide. <clears throat> next slide, Jean. So as I've researched the ideal gas equation, I have been curious why the results are boils in charts of a graduate's law. And then I, and then until I have a knowledge about Sir Binot Paul Emile Clapeyron. He was a French engineer and physicist and one of the founders of thermodynamics. In 1984, Emile Clapeyron is able to combine the laws of Boyle's charge in Avogadro in a form of ideal gas equation. Next slide. <clears throat> So how here, the three conclusion, it is the measurement of the behavior of gas, various gases. So before I will discuss these three conclusion, may I read it first? So first, the volume V is proportional to the number of moles N. If we double N, keeping the pressure and temperature constant, the volume doubles. Jean? <clears throat> So we can write this, that one as P is proportional to N. N is the number of moles. Jean?
I'm sorry, sir. Among presentation, kay nagkuan. Next stop. Ay, nana. Next slide. We're sorry for the inconvenience, everyone. Behavior na ko, Jane. Okay. So, again, that the volume V is proportional to the number of moles. If we double in keeping the pressure and temperature constant, the volume doubles. So we can write that one as pressure is proportional to N. Next. So conclusion number two, the volume varies inversely with the absolute pressure P. If we double P while holding the temperature T and number of moles N constant, the gas compressed to one half of its initial volume. In other words, PV is equal to constant when N and T are constant. So we can write that one as, Jean, P is inversely proportional to volume. <clears throat> um, so, um, conclusion number three, the pressure is proportional to the absolute temperature T. If we double T keeping the volume and number of moles constant, the pressure doubles. In other words, <clears throat> in other words, pressure and I, so we can write that one as pressure is proportional to temperature. So to prop, to illustrate that three conclusion, may I I'll show to you um, simulation on ideal gas equation from FET Interactive Simulation at the University of Colorado. Uh, but before we play this video, may I um, introduce to you this object. This pump um, um, thing there is this our source, uh, the source of gas particles and also the pressure and it was being measured and the that square here are, is our volume. Volume has width, length, and height. And that um, thing below it, our, our source of, um, it gives the heat and it was being measured by temperature, a uh, thermometer. So please play, Jean. <clears throat> Please stop, Jade. Stop. So pressure and so pressure are the measure of the force attributed to all gas particles colliding, colliding in that surface. That um, gas part, uh, that yellow, I uh, violet um, particles there are represent represents the the gases, and uh, we all know that. The ideal gas can hold both light and heavy gas particles. So we are simulating the gas, either the, the, the heavy. So this pause, Jen. So given, given the temperature is the measure of the energy of those particles in motion, increased temperature would mean increased pressure. If you think about it, the particles are moving faster with greater temperature. So, as we have um, observed earlier, when the gas particles are colliding, are colliding at that sides, uh, 
colliding at the surface, the pressure increase so with the temperature. So we, we can so pressure and temperature are directly re related. So that is P is proportional to letter N. So it was the third uh, the number three conclusion. So please play Jane. <clears throat> Oh, please pause, Jen. And we also saw that the volume goes down, the pressure goes up. With less space to move around, the particles would have collision with the wall. So pressure will increase. So this, this means pressure is inversely related to volume. So this, when I decrease the volume, the pressure increase. So when I dec increase the the volume, the pressure decrease because the gas particles, when because of the gas particles has a large area to move to move around. So that is the con number two conclusion that states pressure is inver inversely proportional to volume. So play Jane. So because as the volume decreases, the pressure increases, increasing the number of moles of gas would increase pressure. Moles are just a measure of the number of gas particles. So we have more particles, we have more collision. So pressure is directly proportional to moles and is equals to moles. So nang makita na to nga kung gamay ang, ang surface, um, kaya na, gamay pud ang gas particles so if if the ko sad ang uh, kaning volume or kaning surface um mas daghan ang gas particles nga mas sulod so we can conclude that one as pressure is um ay, volume is proportional to moles or or uh, pressure is proportional to the number of moles because the more we um, exert pressure, the more gas particles, the greater gas particles. So, so that was, the, uh, so that is my part today. And next slide, please, Jean. So, we have now our the composite formula. When we say, um, Composite, it made up of distinct parts of elements. So we have pressure. We can write that one. This pressure is proportional to N and T over volume. So to make it as an equation, we will add this R. And this R will be discussed later. So P is equals to R times N T over V. So we have now the P V equals N R T. So this is now the formula for ideal gas equation where P is gas pressure, V is gas volume, N is the number of moles of gas, R is gas constant, and T is absolute temperature of gas. So that concludes my part today. And Jane, you may take the floor. Okay, Jane.
I'm sorry, sir. The next slide is um uh, will be reported by Miss Camille, but he she's not around. Uh, can you present the ano na lang, power uh, problem solving problem example okay sir So, good morning, everyone. Nakita na ba ang slide? Yes, Jean. Okay, let's have the sample problem one. What is the volume of a container that holds exactly one mole of an ideal gas at standard temperature and pressure, or STP, defined as temperature equals zero degrees Celsius, or 273.15 Kelvin, and pressure equals one atmospheric pressure or equals 1.013 times 10 raised to the power of negative five Pascal. So we have here the given number of moles equals uh, one excuse mole. Excuse me, Jean. Excuse me. It's not negative five, but it's positive. Um, as a Same on at atmospheric pressure, 10 to the power of five. Yes, sir. i sorry, sir. Okay. Mm. So we have here the given number of moles equals one mole. Our gas constant is 8.314 joule per mole Kelvin and temperature 273.15 Kelvin. Pressure equals 1.013 times 10 raised to the power of 5 Pascal. So we are going to find the volume. And as you can see in your screens, we use the gas constant 8.314 joule per mole kelvin because our given are in joule in mole and kelvin so in our solution we have here the derived formula from the original formula pv equals nrt so i believe that we all know how to der derive formula right so let's start let's substitute Number of mole equals one mole. So one mole times 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin times 273.15 Kelvin divided by 1.013 times 10 raised to the power of five Pascal. So if we, we will calculate this, we'll have 0 0.0219 joule per pascal or one joule per pascal pascal equals one cubic meter so we'll have 0 0.0219 cubic meter or in liters one cubic meter equals one one thousand liters so we need 21.9 liters in order to hold one mole of ideal gas so let's have the Second sample problem, in an automobile engine, a mixture of air and vaporized gasoline is compressed in the cylinder before being ignited. A typical engine has a compression ratio of 9.00 to 1, that is, the gas in the cylinders is compressed to 1 over 9.00 of its original volume. The intake and exhaust valves are closed during the compression, so the quantity of gas is constant. What is the final temperature of the compressed gas if its initial temperature is 27 degrees Celsius and the initial and final pressures are 1.00 atm and 21.7 atm respectively? The volume of the cylinder is not given, but we have 9.00 final volume. We don't have to know the value of volume, only the ratio. 
At this problem, we must compare two states of the same quantity of ideal gas. So we'll use the equation initial pressure times initial volume divided by initial temperature equals final pressure times final volume divided by final temperature. So we will going to find the final temperature. So here is our solution. T2 equals T1 times P2 times V2 divided by P1 equals P1 times V1. So this is the derived formula. So let's substitute 300.15 times 21.7 ATM divided by 1 ATM times 9.00 final volume so if we will calculate this we'll have 723.450.15 degrees celsius so here pressure is directly proportional to the absolute pressure or vice versa if we double pressure the temperature will increase as have said as it was stated on the three conclusion so that's all More. Here are references. University Physics 14th edition by Yuge and De Young and Roger A. Friedman. Lectures by Jason Harlow, adopted by Scott Heldris, Shabot College. And here are the links you can visit. Thank you. Okay, group one. That is a very good uh, presentation. So, yes, questions from the class? Wala yung mga tana. Kinsay wala ka historian niya group 1. Ako historian ba mga tana? Sir, ako sir. Ako sir. Nawala lagi ka. Sir, nawala akong signal sir. Ah, sige, ikaw na lang tubag sa pangutana nila ako na. Ah. Sige, sir. <laughs> Olay pangutana class regarding the examples of the gas equation. Okay, ah, pakibalik daw sa example 1 ninyo, B. Jean. Ka time na ba, Miss Secretary? Sige na, isa ka daw. Okay, no? So, this kind of problem uh, states na ang gagamit is standard temperature and pressure or STP. So, understood na na siya pag STP gani ang temperature ana is 273.15 Kelvin and then ang yung pressure is 1 atmospheric pressure. No? And then, um, ang gigamit nga R is 8.314. Nganong maoni siya, nganong mauman ni nga R value ang gigamit? So that is my question. Trisha? Sir? There could be many, ano, many values of R. Depende sa unit, no? 
Depende po sa given. Pero nga nung kiniman ang gigamit ninyo, 8.314. Okay, that one. No? So, I hope that is clear to everyone. Uh, sa exam, siguro magkahatag na lang siguro mo value sa R specific on sa. Otherwise, mag-memorize mo ng upat. Okay lang sa inyo? So, okay. So, ikaw Lin, okay, kung na Lin? Enjoy. Wala. Sir? Are, are you sure wala may pangunta na? Wala, we sir. Before we proceed to the next topic. Okay, let's proceed to sample 2. Sample to the Trisha. Hmm. So example two, na compression ni tabo. So when you say compression, the initial volume is larger than the final volume. Kay compress mani mo. Oh. So the question here is Asa naman tong PB equals NRT nga formula nagamit ba to siya? Can we use that formula in this problem? Guys Sir, Ajin. Ah, Answer. Since kuan man sir, kinahanglan man ta mag kuan mag compare o oh. kanang duha man to siya sir compression and an kuan sa uncompressed nga gas. So dili na to to apply ang katong PV plus NRT. So ang atong gamiton nga kuan equation is katong Initial pressure times initial volume divided by initial temperature equals final volume, final pressure times final volume divided over. by over final temperature. So meaning not all the time na PB equals to NRT regard. No. Okay, can we have the next topic group 2? Ready na mo? Ay palakpakan sa nato ang group 1. Around of plus group 1. Sir, I'm sorry, sir. No, wala akong signal utro, sir. Okay, group 2. Ready na. Okay, so hello, good morning everyone, good morning sir. 
So the topic that we're going to discuss today is Van der <coughs> excuse me, Van der Waals equation, which is somehow related to ideal gas equation, which has been discussed by the other group earlier. So Van der Waals equation. It is an equation that is uh, formulated by Johannes Frederick Van der Waals, 1837 to 1923. He is a Dutch theoretical physicist and thermodynamicist famous for his pioneering work on the equation of state for gases, gas, gas, gases and liquids. He won the 1910 Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on the equation of state for gases, gases and liquids. His name is primarily associated with the Van der Waals equation of state that describes the behavior of gases under condensation to the liquid phase. <clears throat> so Van der Waals equation, it is derived of by Johannes Dederik Van der Waals and it is the modified version of ideal gas law which states that gases consist of point masses that undergo perfectly elastic collisions but this law fails to explain the behavior of real gases. It is an equation relating the relationship <clears throat> between the <clears throat> Pressure, volume, temperature, and amount of real gases. Van der Waals equation derivation is based on correcting the pressure and volume of the ideal gases given by kinetic theory of gases. Therefore, Van der Waals equation was devised and it, it helped us define the physical state of real gases. Another derivation is also used that it is based on the potentials of the particles. Nonetheless, both derivations help us establish the same relationship. And this Van der Waals equation of state that generalizes the ideal gas law based on the plausible reasons that real gases do not act ideally. And Van der Waals modifies the ide ideal gas law. The units of Van der Waals constants. The unit of A is 8m let squared mole to the negative 2 and the unit of B is letter mole to the negative of 1. So ideal gas law will be explained to us by Stephanie Gray Pacquiao. Stephanie? Hi, good morning. So this is the ideal gas law but it was modified by um, Van, Van, der Waal, Van der Waal equation. So here, ideal gas law states that predicts the prop properties of a real gases by describing particles of non-zero volume governed by pairwise attractive forces. So it was discussed earlier that ideal gas law is PV equals to NRT. Please, next. I please next the uh, slide and so it was modified by ideal gas law. So idea the ideal gas law was modified by Van der Waal equation. So since so yeah, I'll read it first. The second the first modif uh, the first modification is and to account for the volume that a real gas molecule takes up. So instead of V, next friend. So, oh my god. Oh, no, no, it's valid, friend. So, yeah, the second modification in Nisha Ang Nadri. So, not by first, Annie, which is Ang. Um, Diba kabantay mo sa formula sa formula sa ideal gas law is PV equals to NRT. So ang V ato is gi change siya para to account for the volume that a real gas molecule takes up. So instead of V, we get the quantity V minus NB. So okay next friend. Where where B is the constant that correspond to the size of the gas particles while n and v are the moles and volumes of 
please refer to the equation na ka ng V minus NB. Muna siya. Then sa pressure, the second modification made to the ideal gas law accounts for the fact that gas molecules do interact with each other. So, <clears throat> ideal gas, sa ideal gas man good, kay ang, kay ang <clears throat> particles, ga-interact ga siya, but the, ga-interact siya, but the total kinetic energy of the two, sa duha kind, sa molecules nga nag-interact, remains the same. While sa, so muna, gimodified siya sa kuan sa Van der Waal equation. So, it's the, kay kuan na ang real, for the fact, ay sa kay ang kuan, ang real gas daw is, ga-interact siya with each other. They usually express attraction at low pressure and repulsion at high pressure. And that real gas is therefore show different comp compressibility than ideal gas. So, so the pressure term is adjusted with the correction factor associated with the attraction between the gas particle. particle. So, instead of P, we get the quantity P plus AN squared minus B B, I, a n squared divided by b squared. So, muna siya. So, therefore, Van der Waal equation is written as p plus a n squared divided by b squared times b minus n b equals to n r t. So, kuan, the constant a di ay sa which is pakibalik sa friend. Which is the constant a is the constant that corresponds to the strength of the attraction which depends on their identity as larger as more as more um and e and the uh, n and v are more eh, no a and v are the most i uh, volume and moles so yeah that's it <laughs> next friend <laughs> So yeah, this is the model of the ideal gas equation and the Van der Waals equation. So as you can see, in the ideal gas model, gas molecules are infinitely small. They exit force on the walls of the container, but that the but not on each other because they have Kuanman. Yeah, elastic, per, um, perfectly elastic collision. So yeah, well the well, the Van der Waal equa uh, equation is more realistic than the ideal. So, gas molecules have volume which reduces the volume it should, they can move. They can exert attractive forces on each other which reduce the pressure. And they exert force on the, the contain container because... One. So, yeah. Ang... Um, uh, next na friend. So, <clears throat> so the next is the Van der Waals equation and U to V Vasi terms. This equation of state is presented as P plus A in squared divided by V squared times V minus N B is equal to N R T. Where P is the pressure, V is the volume, R is the universal gas constant, and T is the absolute temperature. Isotherm or plots of pressure versus volume at constant temperature can be produced using the Van der Waals model. So this is the Van der Waals isotherms which show or demonstrates the relationship between pressure, volume, and temperature based on the Van der Waals model. It correctly predicts a mostly incompressible liquid phase, but the oscillations in the phase transition zone do not fit experimental data. So this is how pressure and volume and temperature was connected to each other in the equation. And this is, has been um, used as the basis para to solve the equation and what was that? And the constants A and B have positive values and are specific to each gas. 
the term involving the constant A corrects for internal molecular attraction. Attractive forces between molecules decrease the pressure of a real gas, slowing the molecules and reducing collisions with the wall. The higher the value of A, the greater the attraction between molecules and the more easily the gas will compress. The B term represents the excluded, excluded volume of the gas or the volume occupied by the gas particles. Notice that the Van der Waals equation becomes the ideal gas law as these two correction terms approach zero. The Van der Waals model offers a reasonable approximation for real gases at moderately high temperature. Additional models have been subsequently introduced to more accurate predict the behavior of non-ideal gases. So this is explanation for this uh, demonstration here for the Van der Waals as the terms. And this solution example will be explained to you by Stephanie Fay. Stephanie? Stephanie. Hi. Ben. So, so can you explain us the solution example in the slide? So example number one. A 1.25 mol sample of acetylene gas has a volume of 25 liters at 25 degrees Celsius. What is the corrected pressure according to Van der Waals equation? So, the given R moles is equals to, to 1.25. Ang volume is 25 liters. The temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Please take note that in this uh, Kelvin, that is like twenty five degrees Celsius is equals to two hundred ninety eight point fifteen Kelvin. So our constant A is four point. 4.516 um, bar mole. So, so, in the ideal gas law equation, so, dali na siya, kung ano ipangutan ni mo. So, NRT, so, ang N is 1.25 times, times 8. Uh, so, ang R, ang atong constant R is 8.314 times 2. 298.15, so it equals to, kaan? It, friend. 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 <laughs> Please continue. Thank uh -huh. 
Stephanie. Okay, so if we are going problem using the Van der Waals equation, this will be the uh, problem solution. So the equation is P is equal to N R two divided by B minus N B minus N N squared A minus B squared. Ideal gas long I ideal gas load is chance. Stephanie, chapi mo signal. Sige, Laura, ikaw na lang continue. Yes, sir. So, we're going to substitute the the kaning ilahang mga kaning ilang volume here to this so this is going to be the substitution so p is equal to 1.25 moles divided by 25 liters of what five liter times 8.314 kpal per mole per mole times 298.15 Kelvin divided by 25 liters minus oh, 25 liters times 1.25 then 0 0.0220 liters per mole. This is the, so the um, equivalent of this uh, this, pandering, this equation. So after this one, we're going to minus it with 1.25 to the power of 2 times 451.6 kPa per liter per liter squared mole divided by 25 liter squared. So the answer will be uh, 3098.5239 divided by 24.9475 minus 705.65 divided by 65. So P is equal to 124.265 minus 1.129 and the P is equal to 123.136 kPa. This is the corrected pressure using Van der Waals equation. The pressure is actually smaller than pre predicted by the ideal gas law. So Stephanie Faith, can you explain this for us? Stephanie? Yeah. Stephanie, Faith Pacquiao. Okay, uh, Laura, do you have other example? Wala na, sir. Mura pa mong na rather siya example sa Bandiwal, sir. Mm, okay. So, please take note ha, pag, pag Bandiwal's gani, uh, Bandiwal's na pagbasa, instead of WB as in boy, pagbasa na. So, Bandiwal's. Yeah, okay. uh, so, muna siya, uh, real gases mangod ni siya, so... Uh, it's expected na the pressure will be will become smaller smaller compared to the ideal gas prediction no? so how about the volume 
Okay, no? so please take note. Pag real gases, smaller ang pressure kumpara ni mo sa ideal. Pero pag volume gani, the volume becomes greater compared ni mo sa ideal. Na mana, mana ang corrections nga gi-introduce for real gases. Okay? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I lost my connection. Wala gin si Tingkang. Yes, sir. Because ko ano, sir, delete daw niya madownload ang app sa iyang tab kay old version daw to iyang tab. Then wala po daw siya iphone nga kahulman kay ang phone daw nga ginahulman niya, sir, is Naman ko doon sa kuan, sa Greenfield ni. Di doon siya ipad doon sa iyong tita dito kay na doon yung mga positive case dito. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Then wala siya yung phone. Muto nga ni, uli sa siya sa ilaha, sir, kay mag-ask siya sa iyong parents at pwede ba nga mapalitan siya. <laughs> Okay, so do you have other questions before we proceed? Hanami, you have questions, Hanami? Wala na, sir. Wala. Yes, sir, wala na. Okay, so let's have a round of applause for group two. Anong kamot ang taon sila ang adwara sila. Thank you, group two. Good job, everyone. Karasarat na rin. So group three na sad na. Ready na group three? Go group three. Yes, sir. Ready na, sir. Kini, gibilaran gini ni Mark Neil ba? Kamitan na, sir, actually. Wow. Sige, sige. Okay, timekeeper. Okay, um, good morning, everyone. Okay pa ba ta? Nakapamaha ba ta tanan? Ay, wala. Tanya. Wala pa. Okay, um, uh, this is our topic, Kinetic Molecular Theory. So, in this um, report, next slide, sa san? Sa itong object, sa, kwan, objectives. In this report, um, at the end of, this, of the discussion, the students will, the students should be able to understand the five fundamentals of Kinetic Molecular theory, theory, differentiate the terms mole and molecular, Differentiate the terms mole and molecule and solve simple problems using kinetic energy equations. So now, without further ado, we will start the reporting with our first um, first speaker, Ms. Janisa Rosaot. Good morning, everyone. Okay, no, good morning. So, good morning. it was... The first reporter reported about the ideal gas loss. And those loss are just merely summaries of observations that are always observed to be true, but do not answer the question why and how the molecules, the gas molecules, behave. So this theory will explain the <clears throat> behavior of those gases. Kinetic molecular theory states that particles are in constant random motion, so meaning permanent sila galihok, and exhibit a perfectly elastic collision. Ang perfectly elastic collision uh, is a collision that dili baka experience o loss ang 
particles, gas particles. Bisag unsaon pa nilag bangga bangga sa each other, dili sila maka loss of kinetic energy. So the theory is often applied to gases but can also be helpful in explaining molecular behavior in all states of matter like solids and liquids. So this theory has five postulates. The first postulate states that particles of a gas are in constant random motion and collide with both one another and the container. We know that gas is made up of particles, whether they are individual atoms or small molecules, and that these particles are always in motion and are believed to always travel in straight lines unless they collide with something, whether that is another gas particle or the the container they are contained in. So this postulate implies that tiny particles like atoms are also subjects to loss of motions, just like any other macros macro macroscopic object, and that they won't just stop without any cause. The second postulate states that the gas is mostly an empty space. So makita ninyo sa uh, illustration nga Gamay ra kaayo kung itapok nimo ang gas molecules gamay ra kaayo ang volume nga ilang ma-occupy gamay ra gid kaayo so they are believed to be dimensionless points kay ang ilahang vol volume nga gina-occupy is almost zero contrary to solids and liquids nga pwede pa nimo ma-compress because all all Particles are closely packed together. The third postulate is pressure is exerted when the particles hit the sides of the container they are currently in. So the phenomenon we refer to as pressure is actually the gas particles in the sample releasing some of their kinetic energy of motion onto the walls of the container they are in every time they collide with it. Just like Example, duha ka, duha ka, duha ka sa kinan nagbangga. Pariha po siya sa gas particles, pero ang particles lang, kay dili sila ga, dili nila ga kaguba ang each other, kay negligible, negligible ang ilahang forces ni nagikuan. Ang collision, kay perfectly elastic, di ba? Perfectly elastic ang ilahang collision. So, if there are lots of particles moving all together in a very fast motion, a lot of collisions would happen and the system would have a lot of pressure. And if there are very few particles moving very slowly, the amount of collision would be so small and so is the pressure in the system. Okay, sa, sa ideal gas law, di ba? Kay na ito'y law nga ang temperature of pressure kay directly proportional. And sa... So fourth postulate we assume we assume that the particles do not interact with each other. Ga interact sila actually pero man neglect na to ang ilahang interaction kay wala lagi loss of kinetic energy kay ilahang collision nga gina-exhibit kay perfectly elastic collision wala loss of kinetic energy. So the particles would simply bounce off of one another, another like billiard ball, billiard balls so dili sila maka-create og kanang dili sila pareha sa two cars nga magkulay nga na ay damage nga ma mabuhat sa each other the fifth postulate states that the average kinetic energy of the particles is directly proportional to the temperature meaning kung magtaas ang temperature sa kana nga system at that certain system ang kinetic energy sa ang average kinetic energy of the particles kay magtaas so, mupaspas sila o move. Mas dagan o kinetic energy ang ilahang makuan sa ila, ang ilahang ma-release sa walls nga ilahang gi, sa, that they are in. That they are in. Another. Ay, molecular kinetic energies will be reported by the by the three boys. So, please then. Sunny boy, sunny boy. Okay. So, molecular kinetic energies. Next, brother. So, one of our objectives in this discussion is to differentiate these most 
uh, these two confused term, which is the molecule and the mole. When we say molecule, it is used to name a combination of atoms, several atoms. For example, water. It is composed of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. When we say mole, nasa numerical value, which, which is ang Avogadro's number. Makita ninyo draw na 6.02214076 times 10 raised to the power of 23. Raised to 23. Ginagamit siya, uh, it, it is used to measure the quantity of the substance. It is a certain quantity of a molecule. Let's see. Next. <laughs> Next <ba? laughs> kinetic energy. So I'm sure we are we are familiar about kinetic energy since we already tackled this about in our pre previous year. So when you say kinetic energy, it is an energy in motion. It has a formula of kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared, where v is the velocity of the object and m is the mass of an object. So we have a sample problem here in the next slide. What is the kinetic energy of one molecule of oxygen gas moving at 461 meter per second? So we have the given molar mass of oxygen is 16 kilogram and the velocity is equal to 461 meter per second. So we then use the formula kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared. So he substitute lang siya 461. Nana ikwano ng mistype kwana siya. M na siya actually sa 461. 461 m meter per second raised to uh, squared and times 16 kilogram. So Ma compute na rin siya rin ma kwa ni mo ang 1 million uh, 1 million 70,168 joules. So mo na siya ang sample problem sa kinetic energy. Sige, sige, sorry, 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 so, um, good morning everyone. I will be reporting about the average kinetic energy of one mole of gas. So we have here defined as the average kinetic energy of all the molecules in a mole of gas. So we have the equation, average kinetic energy is equal to 3 over 2 times RT, where R is equal to 8.314 joules per mole per Kelvin, which is our gas constant, and our T is our temperature in Kelvin. We will be using the gas constant value 8.3145 because average kinetic energy has the unit joules. So we are going to use this particular um, this particular gas constant. So let's proceed with the sample problem. So we have the, the sample problem. What is the average kinetic energy of one mole of nitrogen gas at 20 degrees Celsius? So first we have to identify the given. We have for the R, we have 8.314 joules per mole per Kelvin. And for the temperature, we have 20 degrees Celsius. Since our temperature is in degrees Celsius, we have to convert it first into Kelvin. So we have 20 degrees Celsius plus 273 is equal to 293 Kelvin. Let us proceed for the solution. We have the formula kinetic energy, like average kinetic energy is equal to R over 2, R over 2, I, 3 over 2 RT or 3 RT over 2. So substitute the values, the given values. We have 3 times 8.314 joules per mole per Kelvin times 293 Kelvin over 2. Cancel the Kelvin units. And we will be having 3 over 2 times 2,436.002 joules per mole. Uh, we have a clerical error there. 
that's joules per mole. Only joules are being type. So as we calculate the 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 numbers there, the average kinetic energy is three thousand six hundred fifty four joules per mole. Therefore, the average kinetic energy of one mole of nitrogen gas at twenty degrees Celsius is three thousand six hundred fifty four joules per mole. And by this, we we can associate the fifth postulate of the kinetic molecular theory, which is the relationship of the average kinetic energy to the temperature. And as we increase the temperature, the average kinetic energy will also increase. So I hope everyone uh, nakafollow sa akwang gi-discuss. That's all for the average kinetic energy. Okay, we will... We'll proceed to the next uh, next speaker, Mr. Gabuli. So, my report is about average kinetic energy of a molecule. So, it is defined as the average kinetic energy of a single molecule. Given by the formula, average kinetic energy of a, mo of a molecule is equal to 3 over 2 kT, where K is the Boltzmann's constant, which is equal to 1.38 times 10 to the power of negative 23 joules per Kelvin. So where temperature, where T is equal to temperature in Kelvin. Next one. So we have our, the sample problem. So what is the average kinetic energy of one molecule of nitrogen? N2 at 20 degrees Celsius. So the given is the K, the Boltzmann constant, which is equal to 1.38 times 10 to the power of negative 23 joules per Kelvin. So the temperature is, is 20, 20, 20 degrees Celsius. So we need to convert it to Kelvin. So we just add 270. So 220 plus 273 is equal to 293 Kelvin. So the formula, average kinetic energy is equal to 3 kT over 2 or 3, 3 over 2 times kT. So we substitute, it is equal to 1.38 times 10 to the power of negative 23 joules over Kelvin times 293K over 2. So the answer will be 6.0651 times 10 to the power of negative 21 joules. That's all. So that in, uh, concludes our report, sir. Okay, that is a very dynamic presentation, ba? Uh, questions from the, cl from the class? Hanami? Sir, good morning. Do you have a question on the topic of group 3? So far, sir, wala, sir, pero ang um, ako alam concern is uh, dili kay ko paka uh, kanang pakaapas dito sir kay kanang gakawala wala ang signal sa ko ang ko answer mm. muna ang uh, concern I, sir kay excuse me pangutana lang sa pangutana lang sa mo na may kung kan na kayo na sabdan ipm or oh, kung kan sige sige send, good morning send na mo Isend na mo ang PPT sa um, imuhahan. PPT sa imuha. Ah, okay. Thank you, Kaayo. Hindi na ko. Okay. Ah, sige. Uh, I have a question for for this topic. So, if, uh, for in, in your first example, you demonstrated how to get the average kinetic energy of uh, one mole 
And then for the second example, we use one molecule. So could it could it be possible that you get the same answer? No, sir. Kay ang mole man, sir. Kay na ay value nga six point zero two two and number of moles. Tayon ang molecule, sir. Sa sa isa ka mole, sa sa isa ka mole, sir. Dagan og molecule. So katong molecule sa sa na nga na sa mole na sila isa isa ka kuan average kinetic energy na ay slow ay di dili pareha sila sir ang molek ang isa ka molecule at 20 degrees nga naa ato nga mole kay pareha og kuan kay average man so pareha sila og kuan sir energy average kinetic energy Okay, uh, when you say mole, that is the amount of uh, particular molecules, no? Kung uh, ihapon ni mo sila, tinagsaon ni mo sila gihap, kana kung makaya ni mo, dapat 6.23 times, 6.02 times 10 to the... 20, 20, 20, 23. 23, uh, so... So mas so man, mas dako og value imo makuha kung kinetic energy sa uh, mole sa mole sir kumpara oh kumpara ni mo sa kinetic energy lang sa isa ka molecule isa, isa simple isa ra siya oh, okay so if yes, you're going sir. to compare ah uh, nakuha na kay mas maglibog mo ba if you're going to compare your results tanawa ni oh asa may mas dako 6. Point, back, yeah? 6.06 times 10 to the negative 21 or katong pre previous ani 3,684. Natural, mas dako ning 3,654 joules, no? Okay, you are talking of 1 mole. 1 mole. Oh, mas dako man nga unit ang mole. Hmm. Kaysa isa lang ka molecule lang imong apason, this is katong 10 to the negative 21. So it's clear na kung maghisgot ta og average kinetic energies, mas dako gyud ang Ke sa mole. So ayop na sabtan at stana, no? And then uh, also the unsa gani ni? The proportionality between the kinetic energy and the given temperature. And take note nga para makasinabot ta ang temperature dapat nakakilbin. Oh, please take note kay Daghan, kaya nangasayo pa na since, since una pang panahon nga okay na unta ang formula pero sa temperature sila na nadaot kay wala gikilbin. Anyway, that's part of the exam. No. So, ano siya pa man? Questions? So, kano sa gamit o ng R? Kano sa gamit o ng K? Uh, small K? Ang R, sir, kay pag magkuha ka og mole, well, ang K, kay pag magkuha ka og one molecule of gas. Kay ang katong K, gikan man siya sa R over Avogadro's number, sir. Mm -mm. So, please take note, no? Kay ang R, ano gina siya? Intended for mole mole calculations while katong Boltzmann constant small k intended for individual molecule calculations no, kana. pero maki, makabantay ka pareha ra siya format 3 halves tapos kato da yung constant times temperature no so Wala na? Sige, um, pangutahan na sa mo. Before we will proceed to the, the quizzes, hindi na mo kapangutahan na pag mag-quiz na. Uh, ikaw, Lloyd. Sir? Okay. Ano ba question? Pwede mo pangutahan na sa tulo ka topics. You can Hi. ask. Yes, sir. Ah. Uh. Wala man noon, sir. 
wala kay gusto ko clarify ato si manta kay mo makita diri eh Oh, kanang mga membro sa silent committee diha bi paningog pud mo uh, Akisa oh Akisa Na si Akisa Sir uh, Akisa do you have any questions regarding the three topics that we had No, sir. Wala again, maski isa? So far, sir, wala. Okay. Uh, Frederick? Where is Frederick? Uh, can you... Ano? Turn on your mic. Frederick. Ni. Okay na. So, I guess wala na questions. Uh, shall we give a, a round of applause for group 3? Okay, okay, group leaders, uh, you, you post the link sa inyo hang quiz. Thank you. 